Good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Walls, and welcome back to our coverage here on theCUBE of AWS reInvent 22. We are bringing you another segment with the Global Startup Program, which is part of the AWS Startup Showcase, and it's a pleasure to welcome two new guests here to the showcase. First, immediately to my right, uh, Han Nguyen Lochran. Good to see you, Han. Good to see you. So, the leader of the Enterprise uh, Solutions Architecture at AWS. And on the far right, Roland Lee who is the co-founder and CEO of Heimdall Data. Roland, good to see you. Great to be here. All Thank right, you. good, thanks for joining us. Well, first off, for those at home who may not be familiar with Heimdall, uh, what do you do, why are you here? But uh, I'll let you take it from there. Well, we're one of the sponsors here at AWS and uh, great to be here. Um, we offer a data uh, access layer in the form of a proxy. And what it does is it provides complete visibility and the capability to enhance the interaction between the application and one's current uh, database. And as a result, uh, you'll, the customer will improve uh, database scale, database security, and availability. And uh, all these features don't require any uh, application changes. So that's sort of our um, marketing pitch, if you will. All these types of features to improve um, the experience of managing a database without any application changes. And, and where's the cloud come into play then for you then? Where, where did it come into play for you? So we started out actually uh, helping out customers um, on premise and a lot of enterprise customers are moving over to the cloud and uh, it was just a natural progression to do that. And so um, AWS, which is a, a key partner of ours, partners with us to help solve customer problems, especially on the database side. as um, the application being, uh, application performance tends to have issues between the interaction between the application database mm -hmm. and um, we're solving that issue. Right. So on, um, I mean, Roland just touched on it, that on-prem, right? Uh, there's still some kickers and screamers out there that, that don't, or haven't bought in or, or they're about to, but you're about to get them, I, I'm sure. Um, but talk about that, that conversion or that transition, if you would, from going on-prem into a hybrid environment or to the, into the, the bigger cloud environment, and, and how difficult that is sometimes, yes. maybe to get people to, to make that kind of a leap. Well, uh, I would say that a lot of customers are wanting to focus more on product innovation, experimentation, and also um, in terms of having to manage servers and patching, you know, it's to take away from that initiative that they're trying to do. So with AWS, we provide undifferentiated heavy lifting so that they can focus on product innovation. And one of the areas, you know, talking about Heimdall, is that from the database side, we do provide um, Amazon RDS, which is the relational database, and also Aurora, uh, to give them that lift, so they don't have to worry about patching servers and setting up provisioning servers as well. Right. So, Roland, can you get the idea across to people very simply? Let us take care of the, the hard stuff, and and that will free you up to do your product innovations, to do your experimentations, to to really free up your team basically to do the fun stuff, and and let us sweat over the the, the details, basically, right? In that exactly. Our, our motto is not only why build when, um, when you can buy, so a lot of it has to do with offering the, uh, the value in terms of price and the features such as it's going to benefit a team. Large companies um, like uh, Amazon.com, uh, Google, they have huge teams that can build data access layers and proxies. Um, and what we're trying to do here is commercialize those, because those are built in-house, and it's not readily available for customers to use. And you need some type of interface between the application and the database, and we provide that. Um, sort of, uh, why build when you can buy? Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, why Hondo, right? <laughs> um, I mean, what's your special sauce? Because everybody's got something, obviously, a market differentiator that you're bringing into place here. So, you started to touch on it a little bit there for me. But, but dive a little deeper there. I mean, what, what is it that, that you're bringing to the table with AWS um, that you think puts you above the crowd? Well, let me give you a use case here. Um, in typical events like, let's say, Black Friday, uh, where there's a surge in traffic uh, that can overwhelm the database. The Heimdall data access layer database proxy um, provides uh, an auto-scaling distributed uh, architecture such that it can absorb those uh, surges in traffic um, and help scale the database while um, keeping the data fresh and up to date. And so uh, basically traffic um, based on season, time of day, um, we, can, uh, we can adjust 
uh, automatically, and all these types of features uh, that we offer, most notably uh, automated query caching, uh, read-write split for asset compliance, don't require any code changes, which typically requires the application developer to make those changes, so we're saving months maybe years of development and maintenance. Yeah, a lot of gray hairs too, right? Yeah, you're, you're solving a lot of problems there. Mm -hmm. What about database trends and just in general, Hunt, if you will? I mean, you're, you're, this is your space, right? Um, I mean, what we're hearing about from Heimdall, you know, in terms of solutions they're providing, but what are you seeing just from the macro level in terms of what people are doing and thinking about the database and how it relates to the cloud? And some of the things that we're seeing is that we're seeing an explosion of data, relevant data that cu customers need to be able to consume and also process as well. So with the explosion of data, there's also, uh, we see customers trying to modernize their application as well through microservices, which does change the design patterns of like the applications we call the access data patterns as well. So uh, again, going back to that undifferentiated heavy lifting, we do have something called purpose-built um, databases, right? It's the right tool for the right purpose. And so it depends on what their like RPO, RTO, their access to pat data pattern, is it a base, is it an acid? So we want to be able to provide them the options to build and also innovate. So with that, that's why we have the Amazon RDS, mm -hmm. the, uh, also the, uh, we also have Redshift, we also have Aurora and et cetera. The Redshift is more of the BI side, but usually when you ingest the data, you have some level of processing to get in more insights. Mm -hmm. So with that, that's why customers are moving more of towards the managed service so that they can get that lift mm -hmm. and then focusing on that product and innovation. Yeah, have we kind of caught up or are we catching up to this just the tsunami of data to begin with, right? Because, I mean, that was it, you know, what, seven, eight years ago when, when that data became kind of, or becoming king, and and reams and reams and reams and all, you know, almost can't handle it, right? And, and are we now able to manage that process and manage that flow and get the right data into the right hands at the right time? We're doing better with that? I would say that it definitely has grown. Um, in size of the amount of data that we're ingesting. And so with the scalability and the agility of the cloud, we're able to, uh, I would say, adapt to the rapid uh, changes and ingestions of the data. So, so that's why we um, have things like Aurora Serverless to have that, uh, or auto scale. So they can do like MySQL or Postgres, and then they can still like what, you know, Heimdall's trying to do, is basically don't have to do like any code changes. It would be a data migration. They still use mm -hmm. the same underlying database uh, um, on also mechanisms, but here we're providing them at scale on the cloud. Yeah. Are proxies, are they must have for all databases? I mean, is that, is that essential uh, these days? Well, good question, John. I would say yes. And this is often built in-house, as I mentioned, for large companies. They do build some type of data access layer or proxy, and, um, or some utilize some ORM, um, some object relational mapper to do it. And what, again, what we're trying to do is offer this um, put this out into the market, commercially speaking, mm -hmm. uh, such that it can be readily used for, for all the customers mm -hmm. to use, rather than building it from scratch um, all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I didn't ask you, it was really, how does it, AWS come into play for you, then, and, and as in the startup mode, um, the focus that they've had in startups in general, but in you in particular, I mean, talk about that partnership or that relationship and the value that you're extracting from that? The AWS partnership has been absolutely wonderful. The collaboration, um, they have one of the best managed service databases. Um, the value that it, that it adds in terms of the durability, um, the manageability. What the Heimdall data does is it complements uh, Amazon RDS, Amazon Redshift very well in the sense that we're not replacing the database. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're allowing the customer to get the most out of the managed service database, whether it be Redshift or Aurora, serverless, um, RDS, um, all without code changes. And the analogy that I would give, John, is a, car, a race car may be very fast, but it takes a driver to get to those sp fast speeds. Mm -hmm. We're the driver. The Heimdall proxy provides that intelligence so that you get the most out of th that database engine. Mm -hmm. And and Han, if you would then touch on, first off, AWS and the emphasis that you have put on startups and are obviously, you know, kind of putting your money where your mouth is, right? I mean, with, with 
with the way you've encouraged and nurtured that environment. And maybe be about Heimdall in general, about where you see this going or what you would like to have, where you want to take this in the next, say, 12 months, 18 months. Well, I think it's more of a better together story of right, how right. we can um, uh, basically co, uh, co build with our partners, right? Um, and, and basically in focusing on helping our customers drive that innovation and be uh, in collaboration. So as Heimdall, as a independent service uh, vendor, ISV, uh, most customers can leverage that through uh, a marketplace where it basically integrates very nicely with AWS, so that gives them that lift. And it goes back to the uh, undifferentiated hef heavy lifting on the Heimdall proxy side, if okay. you will, because right. then you have this proxy in the middle where then it helps them with their SQL performance. And I've seen use cases where uh, customers were have some legacy system that they may not have time to modernize mm -hmm. the application, so they use this as a lift to keep uh, keep going as they try to modernize, but also I've seen customers who use, um, uh, are trying to use it uh, as a, uh, a way to give that performance lift because they may have a third party software that they cannot mm -hmm. change the code by putting this in there that helps optimize their mm -hmm. lines of business or whatever that is, maybe it could be an online store or whatever. So I would say it was a better Better together type of story. Yeah, which is it, there's got to be a song in there somewhere. <laughs> um, so peek around the corner, and if, if you want to be headlights here right now, uh, in terms of 12, 18 months. I mean, what you know, what what next to solve? Right? You've already mm -hmm. taken, you've, you've slayed a few dragons along the way, um, but there are others. I'm sure, as it always happens in innovation in this space, just when you solve a problem, you've just dealt, or you have to deal with others that pop up as maybe unintended consequences or at least a new challenge. So what would that be uh, in your world right now? What, what do you see uh you know, occupying your sleepless nights here for the next year or so? Well, for, for Heimdall Data, it's all about improving database performance and scale. And those workloads um, change. Uh, we have OLTP, we have OLAP, uh, with uh, the artificial intelligence ML. Uh, there's different type of traffic profiles, and uh, we're focused on uh, improving those uh, data profiles. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be unstructured, structured. Right now we're focused on structured data, which is relational databases, but um, there's a lot of opportunity to improve the, the performance of data. Well, you're driving the car, you got a good navigator. I think the GPS is working. It's so uh, keep up the good work, and thank you for sharing the time today. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Really do appreciate it. All right, you are watching The Cube. We continue our coverage here from AWS, reInvent 22, The Cube, of course, the leader in high-tech coverage.